I want to talk to you about the Cleveland Indians because I've noticed and I've actually had a couple of people, a couple of listeners uh, send me an email uh, reminding me that you have never called or you haven't called them the Cleveland Indians for well over 20 years or the Atlanta Braves, the Atlanta Braves for that matter. Um, I'm, I'm just going to ask you uh, to explain why that is. Well, it was back in 1992, Blue Jays are in the World Series with Atlanta, and all of a sudden you see the tomahawk chop, and, and I used that. I didn't think anything about it. We had powwows at the mound, and then the Blue Jays, to get there, went through Cleveland, and then at the same time I noticed the red-faced Indian on their logo. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the World Series, uh, which the Blue Jays won, and everybody was so happy and rejoicing, in the offseason I received one of the best, fan letters I've ever received. It was from someone, a Native American, up in northern Ontario on one of the reservations, and he took the time to write me. And he said, Jerry, I appreciate your work, but in the World Series, it was so offensive to have the tomahawk chop and to have people talk about the powwows on the mound and then the Cleveland Indians logo and the Washington Redskins. And he just wrote it in such a loving, kind way. And he said, I would really appreciate it if you would think about what you say with those teams. I wrote him back and I said, sir, that's one of the best fan letters I've ever received. And in honor of what your thoughts are, and so many other people too on reservations and Native Americans, for the rest of my career, I will not say Indians or Braves. And if I were in the NFL, I wouldn't say Redskins. And I haven't from that point on. See, because this is obviously, this has emerged as an issue in the the past decade, but I had no, and I remember, I think we may have even talked about this. I remember taking note of the thing, saying, that's interesting. It's very much a personal decision for a lot of people. But I had no idea it went back to 93. It went back that far for me. And in 1995, who played in the World Series, course, the Cleveland end. and Atlanta. But it's always interesting to see things in black and white. But when you get a fan letter from mm-hmm. someone who has lived mm-hmm. it and breathed it and said, in a, in a very eloquent way, it's just so offensive and we just don't like it. And whether there are other people in his area or around the world who do care for it, it didn't matter to me. He touched my heart. And that was my way of saying, without bringing it up, and you're the first person to bring it up here in years, it was my way of saying, I agree with you and your feelings, and that's how I'm going to honor that and your entire Native American culture. 